Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. People are waiting in line for a sale in a store. B. A group of people is attending a business meeting. C. A woman is taking notes in a shopping mall. D. A man is giving a presentation in an office. The correct answer is C. A woman is taking notes in a shopping mall. Number 2. A. Engineers are presenting a project in an office. B. A construction team is building a large skyscraper. C. A man is sitting on a chair working on his laptop at a construction site. D. Workers are having a meeting at a construction site. The correct answer is C. A man is sitting on a chair working on his laptop at a construction site. Number 3. A. A group of students is studying for an exam. B. A woman is writing on a chalkboard in a mall. C. People are boarding a plane. D. A man is reading a book in a park. The correct answer is B. A woman is writing on a chalkboard in a mall. Number 4. A. A man is ordering food at a cafe. B. A group of students is playing basketball. C. People are attending a meeting. D. A woman is using her phone in a shopping mall. The correct answer is D. A woman is using her phone in a shopping mall. Number 5. A. Several people are walking through a shopping mall. B. Two people are cooking in a kitchen. C. A man is presenting in a meeting room. D. Students are looking at their phones in a classroom. The correct answer is D. Students are looking at their phones in a classroom. Number 6. A. A professor is giving a lecture in a classroom. B. A group of people is attending a business conference. C. Students are working together on a project. D. A teacher is preparing for a meeting. The correct answer is A. A professor is giving a lecture in a classroom. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. Is this your first visit to our company? A. Yes, it is. B. No. I work here. C. I'll go next week. The correct answer is A. Yes, it is. Number 2. Did you finish the financial analysis? A. The results look promising. B. Yes, I emailed it an hour ago. C. Not yet, I'm still working on it. The correct answer is C. Not yet, I'm still working on it. Number 3. How do I get to the conference room? A. I'm attending the meeting too. B. The conference is tomorrow. C. You need to follow the signs. The correct answer is C. You need to follow the signs. Number 4. Has the meeting been rescheduled? A. Yes, it's now at 3 p.m. B. I'll send the email tomorrow. C. I think it's a bit too spicy. The correct answer is A. Yes, it's now at 3 p.m. Number 5. Did you finish the assignment? A. No, I didn't attend the event. B. Yes, I submitted it yesterday. C. I forgot my notebook.
The correct answer is B. Yes, I submitted it yesterday. Number six. Could you turn the music down? A. I like this song. B. It's very loud. C. Sure, no problem. The correct answer is C. Sure, no problem. Number seven. Could you send me the report by Friday? A. I have to leave now. B. Yes, I will. C. Where is the report? The correct answer is B. Yes, I will. Number eight. Which department handles customer complaints? A. The customer service department. B. Yes, they're very efficient. C. I will file a complaint soon. The correct answer is A. The customer service department. Number nine. Can you send me the report by noon? A. He's out of the office. B. No, I haven't. C. I'll have it to you by 11 a.m. The correct answer is C. I'll have it to you by 11 a.m. Number 10. Could you help me with this task? A. Maybe later. B. Sure. What do you need? C. I'm really busy right now. The correct answer is B. Sure. What do you need? Number 11. Why is the office so cold today? A. The heating system is under repair. B. I prefer it cooler. C. It feels normal to me. The correct answer is A. The heating system is under repair. Number 12. Would you like some coffee or tea? A. Tea, please. B. It's too early for coffee. C. I prefer soda. The correct answer is A. T, please. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening, conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. I think we should update our website. I agree. It's been a few years since the last redesign. Should we hire a professional or do it in-house? Let's look at some professional services first. What will they do first? A. Look at professional services. B. Hire an intern. C. Design it themselves. The correct answer is A. Look at professional services. Number 2. Have you completed the report for the quarterly meeting? I'll have it ready by the end of the day. Make sure to include the new sales figures. I will. I'll add those right after lunch. When will the report be ready? A. By the end of the day. B. Immediately. C. Tomorrow. The correct answer is A. By the end of the day. Number 3. Can you confirm the time for our client call? It's scheduled for 4 p.m. this Thursday. Perfect. I'll add it to my calendar. I'll send you the agenda beforehand. When is the client call scheduled? A. Next Monday at 10 a.m. B. This Thursday at 4 p.m. C. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. The correct answer is B. This Thursday at 4 p.m. Number 4. Shall we plan for the client meeting next week? Yes, we need to finalize the agenda. How about we meet tomorrow morning to discuss it? That sounds good. Let's stick to 10 a.m. When will they meet to discuss the agenda? A. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. B. Next week. C. This afternoon. The correct answer is A. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Number 5. Can you send me the latest sales figures? I'll email them to you right after this meeting. Thanks. I need them for my presentation tomorrow. 
No problem. When does the woman need the sales figures? A. Next week. B. Today. C. By tomorrow. The correct answer is C. By tomorrow. Number 6. Have you finalized the business trip itinerary? I'm almost done. I just need to confirm the hotel reservation. Please do it by the end of the day. I will. Uh, thanks. What does the man ask the woman to do? A. Cancel the trip. B. Book a flight. C. Confirm the hotel reservation. The correct answer is C. Confirm the hotel reservation. Number 7. Can you send me the minutes from the team meeting? Sure, I'll email them to you in a few minutes. Thanks, I need to review them before my presentation. No problem, I'm on it. Why does the man need the meeting minutes? A. For a report. B. For a presentation. C. For a review. The correct answer is B. For a presentation. Number 8. Can you please email me the latest sales report? Sure. I'm just finishing it up. You should have it within the next hour. Great. I need to review it before the 4 p.m. team meeting. No problem. I'll make it a priority. When does the woman need the sales report? A. Before the end of the day. B. Before lunch. C. Before the 4 p.m. team meeting. The correct answer is C. Before the 4 p.m. team meeting. Number 9. Can you join the client meeting this Thursday? I'll check my calendar. Yes, I'm available. What time is it? It's scheduled for 10 a.m. I'll be there. When will the client meeting take place? A. Next Friday at 2 p.m. B. This Monday at 9 a.m. C. This Thursday at 10 a.m. The correct answer is C. This Thursday at 10 a.m. Number 10. Do you have any recommendations for lunch? There's a new Italian place nearby. Sounds good. Let's go there. Do we need a reservation? No, it's usually not too crowded this time of day. What type of restaurant do they plan to go to? A. Italian. B. Chinese. C. Mexican. The correct answer is A. Italian. Number 11. We need to arrange a business trip to our branch in Chicago. When do you plan to go? Next week would be ideal. I'll check the flights and hotel availability. Where is the business trip? A. Chicago. B. Los Angeles. C. New York. The correct answer is A. Chicago. Number 12. We need to submit the project proposal by the end of the week. Should we meet to discuss the final details? How about Wednesday afternoon? Sounds good. Let's finalize it then. When will they meet to discuss the project proposal? A. Tuesday afternoon. B. Monday afternoon. C. Wednesday afternoon. The correct answer is C. Wednesday afternoon. Let's dive into part four. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Join us for a cooking demonstration by Chef Ramirez this Saturday at the downtown market. Learn how to make three delicious dishes. The demonstration is free and samples will be provided. Don't miss out. Who will be giving the cooking demonstration? A. Chef Jordan. B. Chef Ramirez. C. Chef Smith. The correct answer is C. Chef Ramirez. Number 2. Thank you for choosing Speedy Courier Service. We pride ourselves on fast and reliable delivery. Please ensure the recipient's address is correct and include a phone number. For urgent deliveries, opt for our express service. Track your package using our app. What should customers do to ensure proper delivery? A. Include a phone number. B. Use the app for tracking. C. 
Opt for express service. The correct answer is A. Include a phone number. Number 3. We're excited to announce the opening of the new community library next month. The library will offer a variety of books, digital resources, and study spaces. Membership is free for all city residents. Attend our opening day for special activities and tours. What is free for city residents? A. Books. B. Library membership. C. Tours. The correct answer is B. Library membership. Number 4. Welcome to Downtown Farmers Market. We are open every Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Our vendors offer a wide variety of fresh produce, homemade baked goods, and artisanal products. This is the perfect place to find unique gifts and support local farmers. Be sure to check out our cooking demonstrations and live music performances. What time does the farmers market open? A. 8 a.m. B. 9 a.m. C. 7 a.m. The correct answer is A. 8 a.m. Number 5. We are offering a special discount on all online courses this month. Use the code LEARN20 at checkout to receive 20% off. Enroll today to improve your skills and knowledge from the comfort of your home. How much is the discount? A. 20%. B. 10%. C. 15%. The correct answer is A. 20%. Number 6. Join us this Sunday for our annual charity run starting at 9 a.m. in Central Park. All proceeds will go towards local community projects. Participants need to register online by Saturday to receive a race bib and timing chip. When is the charity run taking place? A. Next Sunday at 10 a.m. B. This Sunday at 9 a.m. C. This Saturday at 8 a.m. The correct answer is A. This Sunday at 9 a.m. Number 7. Good morning, employees. Today we begin our new wellness program aimed at improving your health and well being. There will be weekly fitness classes and healthy snacks available in the break room. We encourage everyone to participate and take advantage of these resources. What is the purpose of the new program? A. To improve health and well-being. B. To introduce new work policies. C. To reduce work hours. The correct answer is B. To improve health and well-being. Number 8. Please make sure to follow all safety guidelines during your visit to the amusement park. Always keep your seatbelt fastened on rides and follow the instructions given by the staff. Remember, your safety is our top priority. What is the main concern of the amusement park? A. Visitor safety. B. Food quality. C. Ticket sales. The correct answer is. B. Visitor safety. Number 9. Thank you for visiting Greenfield Public Library. We offer a wide selection of books, magazines, and digital resources available for all ages. Our new reading initiatives include weekly story time for children and book clubs for adults. Please ask any staff member if you need assistance finding materials or using our online catalog. What new initiative does the library offer? A. Weekly story time for children. B. Daily movie screenings. C. Cooking classes. The correct answer is B. Weekly story time for children. Number 10. Good evening, travellers. This is an important announcement. Due to unforeseen weather conditions, all flights departing before noon tomorrow are expected to be delayed. Please check the flight information screens for updates and contact your airline for further assistance. We apologise for any inconvenience this may cause. Thank you for your patience. 
Why are the flights delayed? A. Overbooking. B. Unforeseen weather conditions. C. Technical issues. The correct answer is C. Unforeseen weather conditions. Number 11. Welcome to the History Museum. Today, explore our new exhibit on ancient civilizations. Guided tours are available at the top of every room. Flew up of every hour. Make sure to visit the gift shop for unique souvenirs before you leave. When are the guided tours available? A. Only in the morning. B. At the top of every hour. C. Every half hour. The correct answer is C. At the top of every hour. Number 12. Attention all passengers. The train to New York will depart from Platform 3 in 10 minutes. Please gather your belongings and walk towards the platform. If you require assistance, visit the information desk. Which platform will the train to New York depart from? A. Platform 1. B. Platform 5. C. Platform 3. The correct answer is A. Platform 3. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin! Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one. The package has arrived. A. Yet. B. Any more. C. Still. D. Already. The correct answer is D. Already. Number two. This is Best option available. A. No article. B. A. C. N. D. V. The correct answer is D. V. Number three. The instructions were confusing for me to follow. A. Such. B. Enough. C. So. D. Two. The correct answer is D. 2. Number 4. Please arrive. Time for the meeting tomorrow. A. At. B. 4. C. In. D. On. The correct answer is D. On. Number 5. She works. A multinational company. A. 4. B. In. C. On. D. At. The correct answer is A. 4. Number 6. The report needs before the meeting. A. Being reviewed. B. To be reviewed. C. Reviewing. D. Reviewed. The correct answer is B. To be reviewed. Number 7. They. The new system when the power went out. A. Are testing. B. Tested. C. Were testing. D. Have tested. The correct answer is C. Were testing. Number 8. They were. Tired to continue working late into the night. A. Very. B. More. C. 2. D. So. The correct answer is C. 2. Number 9. He is interested. Learning new languages. A. On. B. In. C. 4. D. 2. The correct answer is B. 
in. Number 10. They. Hire more staff if the workload increases. A. Should. B. Would. C. Will. D. Must. The correct answer is C. Will. Number 11. He was promoted. His excellent performance. A. Because. B. In spite of. C. Because of. D. Despite. The correct answer is C. Because of. Number 12. The budget was exceeded. The project was completed successfully. A. Because. B. And. C. But. D. So. The correct answer is C. But. Next up is part 6. Reading, text completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. The next team meeting will be held. The main conference room at 10 o'clock a.m. on Monday. A. On. B. At. C. By. D. In. The correct answer is D. In. Number 2. Thank you for contacting our customer service. We... Your feedback, and we'll get back to you soon. A. Appreciating. B. Appreciates. C. Appreciated. D. Appreciate. The correct answer is... D. Appreciate. Number 3. To the sales team, please be prepared to discuss your sales strategies at the next meeting. Your input is highly... A. Value. B. Valued. C. Values. D. Valuing. The correct answer is... B. Valued. Number 4. Dear team, the project deadline has been... Please ensure all tasks are completed by the new date. Thank you, project manager. A. Extending. B. Extends. C. Extended. D. Extend. The correct answer is... C. Extended. Number 5. Attention all staff. The annual performance reviews are scheduled to be conducted next month. Please ensure all objectives are... Butting. By then. A. Completed. B. Completing. C. Completion. D. Complete. The correct answer is A. Completed. Number 6. To all staff, the office will be for maintenance on Friday, so please plan to work from home. Best Facilities Department. A. Closes. B. Closing. C. Close. D. Closed. The correct answer is D. Closed. And finally, Part 7, Reading, Reading Comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1, we are pleased to inform you that your application for the Community Service Grant has been approved. Funds will be distributed by the end of this month, and additional information on fund usage will be sent out soon. Congratulations on your successful application. Sincerely, the Grant Committee. What is being communicated in this text? A. Approval of a grant application. B. An upcoming community event. C. Rejection of a funding request. The correct answer is A. A mandatory meeting. Number 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we are hosting a charity auction on Saturday, July 15th at the Grand Ballroom to support local schools. Your participation and generous contributions can make a significant impact. Join us for an evening of entertainment and philanthropy. Warm regards, event organizers. What is the main event mentioned in the announcement? A. A business conference. B. 
a charity auction, c. a product launch. The correct answer is b. a team building workshop. Number 3. Hello all. Just a quick reminder about the team building event happening this Saturday at Central Park. Activities will start at 10 a.m., followed by a picnic lunch. Don't forget to wear comfortable clothes. Looking forward to a great day. Best, HR Department. What is the Saturday event about? A. A community service project. B. Team building activities and a picnic. C. A company training session. The correct answer is B. Team building activities and a picnic. Number 4. Dear team, please be informed that starting from next Monday, the company cafeteria will offer a wider variety of vegetarian and vegan options. This is part of our initiative to accommodate diverse dietary preferences and promote healthier eating habits. We encourage everyone to try these new menu items. Best regards, management. What is the main purpose of this email? A. To announce a cafeteria closure. B. To inform about new menu options. C. To promote a new company policy. The correct answer is B. To inform about new menu options. Number 5. The company will be launching a new health and wellness program, which includes weekly fitness classes, healthy eating workshops, and mindfulness sessions. All employees are encouraged to participate and take advantage of these beneficial activities. What will be included in the new program? A. Fitness classes and workshops. B. Health checks. C. Annual leave. The correct answer is A. Fitness classes and workshops. Number 6. Dear subscribers, Thank you for your continued support of our magazine. We are excited to introduce a new section dedicated to health and wellness starting next month. Look forward to articles on nutrition, fitness, and mental health. Happy reading. Regards, editorial team. What new feature is being introduced? A. A health and wellness section. B. A travel section. C. A technology section. The correct answer is A. A health and wellness section. Number 7. Dear employees, please be informed that the annual staff meeting is scheduled for Friday, October 10th at the company's main conference hall. Attendance is mandatory for all staff members. During the meeting, we will discuss the company's performance, future plans, and take any questions you might have. Refreshments will be provided. Sincerely, the HR department. Why is this announcement being made? A. To promote company performance. B. To schedule performance reviews. C. To announce a staff meeting. The correct answer is C. To announce a staff meeting. Number 8. Effective immediately. We have implemented a new work-from-home policy to provide greater flexibility to our employees. This dischange is part of our ongoing efforts to support work-life balance and employee well-being. What new policy is being communicated? A. Increased office hours. B. Improved health benefits. C. Work-from-home policy. The correct answer is C. Work-from-home policy. Number 9. Due to a high volume of customer inquiries, our response time may be longer than usual over the next few days. We appreciate your patience and are working to resolve all queries as quickly as possible. What is the reason for the delayed response times? A. System upgrade. B. Staff training sessions. C. High volume of customer inquiries. The correct answer is C. High volume of customer inquiries. Number 10. 
Our team is thrilled to announce a synergy meeting set for Thursday, October 10th at 3 p.m. in Conference Room B. We will discuss the strategic plan for the upcoming quarter with an emphasis on achieving our sales targets. Refreshments will be provided. We look forward to your active participation. What is the purpose of the meeting? A. To discuss sales strategies. B. To announce a merger. C. To plan a team outing. The correct answer is A. To discuss sales strategies. Number 11. Dear students, please note that the library will be undergoing maintenance next weekend. During this period, certain sections might be inaccessible. We apologize for the inconvenience and recommend planning your visits accordingly. Best wishes, University Library staff. What information does this notice provide? A. Extended library hours. B. New library resources. C. Upcoming library maintenance. The correct answer is C. Upcoming library maintenance. Number 12. Attention residents, due to maintenance work, the water supply will be interrupted from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Wednesday. Please ensure you store enough water in advance. We apologize for the inconvenience caused and appreciate your understanding. What should residents do in preparation for the maintenance? A. Leave home during that time. B. Call the water company. C. Store enough water in advance. The correct answer is C. Store enough water in advance. Number 13. Hello, members. We are thrilled to announce that our gym will be hosting a fitness workshop next weekend. This workshop will cover various topics, including nutrition and workout routines. Limited spots are available, so register soon. See you there. Best, gym management. What is the main topic of the email? A. Upcoming fitness workshop. B. New gym equipment. C. Membership fee increase. The correct answer is A. Upcoming fitness workshop. Number 14. Dear team, we are thrilled to announce that we have been awarded the Industry Leader Award for this year. This recognition reflects our team's hard work and dedication. Let's continue striving for excellence. Congratulations, the Executive Board. What is the main purpose of this announcement? A. To announce an award received. B. To plan a meeting. C. To introduce new products. The correct answer is A. To announce an award received. Number 15. Dear subscribers, we are thrilled to launch our new collection for the fall season. Visit our website to explore the latest trends in clothing and accessories. Enjoy a 10% discount on your first purchase. Happy shopping! Best Customer Relations Team. What is being advertised in this text? A. A new fall clothing collection. B. A winter sale. C. A return policy. The correct answer is A. A new fall clothing collection. Number 16. Join us for the annual company picnic at Riverside Park this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. There will be games, food, and fun activities for all ages. Bring your family and enjoy a day of relaxation with your colleagues. What is being announced in this message? A. A business conference. B. A new work policy. C. An annual company picnic. The correct answer is C. An employee training workshop. Number 17. This is a reminder that the deadline for submitting your annual performance review is next Friday, March 26th. Please ensure that all sections are completed accurately and submitted to your immediate supervisor for further evaluation. Timely submission is crucial for the assessment process. What is the deadline for? A. Project completion. B. Submitting annual performance review. C. Holiday request. The correct answer is 
B. Submitting annual performance review. Number 18. Dear students, we are thrilled to inform you that online registration for the upcoming semester will open on April 1st. To ensure a smooth process, please visit our website and follow the provided instructions. If you encounter any issues, contact the help desk immediately. When does online registration begin? A. April 1st. B. May 3rd. C. March 25th. The correct answer is A. April 1st.